Energy is 98% of our carbon footprint at Hulaman. And obviously control of our energy system would mean controlling our carbon footprint. The structure that it gave us helped us to reduce our energy consumption and our water consumption. And in doing so, our entire environmental sustainability took many steps forward. But it's been an incredible journey because we found that measuring carbon footprint is not just about measuring a number, it's about environmental sustainability. Ulliman decided to join the RECP program and get the assessment done uh, during 2015. And uh, this came about due to our realisation that our resource bill is a significant amount of our expenditure and that there's huge potential for improvement. Cost-wise, we are saving, uh, I would say, in excess of 10 million rand a month combined for electricity, water and gas at the moment. There's all kinds of benefits that flow out of this and I believe these benefits are all sustainable because it's, it grows from a growing platform of understanding within the business. Running with the RECP program and the water assessment and so on brings behavioral change and that behavioral change brings with it savings that you cannot contribute or attribute to any specific project. But they are real and they are equal in size at the moment to our savings that come through actual projects. If we compare the amount of water that we used in 2015 going through to date, we are now saving about 10,000 kilolitres of water a month from both a financial and an environmental aspect. It's been hugely beneficial to us to have NCPC on board. This process started with the NCPC doing a water study at Tuleman and that really opened management's eyes to what is available in the way of, of bringing down costs, managing resources efficiently. So for us it's very much the start of a process but just creating the awareness in the business that we must save water and the droughts did help there but people were coming up with ideas of how to save water and they were extending that to energy. That is to make sure that it encompasses not just the energy of electricity and gas, but water and effluent and other types of waste as well. My position was the only formal position created within Hulaman so far. We've got two NCPC interns on site, so that's also part of the, the work that Hulaman does in training up young people to give them the skills to go out into industry generally. The work that we're doing is showing that there's a huge need for more people because this job is much bigger than anybody expected. Experience is based from companies like Toyota, where they have these programs running for many years now, is the salaries are more than covered by the savings that the people are able to make. Partnering with the NCPC has really opened up Ulliman's eyes to understand the range of possibilities that are out there. They provide excellent resources in terms of training and consultancy services. So all the free consultancy services offered to us as part of the program have been excellent. I believe it's really world-class standards. And it comes from a, a team of people that is well directed. It's a group of people, an organization that's interested in really progressing the course. I joined the RECP internship in January this year and through the internship, the NCPC placed me at Hulaman, which I started here in February. This internship for me has taught me that I'm not limited in terms of the environmental sector, that I'm not limited to consulting or research, but I'm actually, it would be useful for me to be in industry. And yeah, there's a broad environmental need in industry. We've identified a few savings opportunities and I did assist the central maintenance guys with power factor correction problem that has saved the company a lot of money as well. 